The black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. A mad killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The overseers have stormed my hideout in the flooded district. And I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the Empire. I'd say I was being punished, but I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes. And the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. The men are recovering well from the attack, but they don't understand the danger they're in. My mother warned me never to make an enemy of a witch. Corvo, here to settle our debt. You understand, I won't make this easy for you. has returned with the information you requested. He's waiting for you below.
Begging your pardon, Dowd, but I don't think it's safe to leave these overseers holed up in the refinery. It's a new game now. They know where to find us. We just have to make them afraid to. They're not afraid to die for their seven strictures. Them? No. But the men who give the orders are a different breed. All the same, I'd better give them a hand, just in case the prisoners try anything. Seers found us. That wasn't Dowd. Dowd should have caught it. And now witches. He's not the man. Quiet. You're going to get us killed. finished his scouting run. When you've talked to him, I'll give you the latest word from inside the prison. soft. Rothwild's not coming back anytime soon. You should spend more time thinking about your form.
Corvo's out there, Dowd. It's a matter of time before he shows up here. He's got the Lord Regent's army to chew through first. What are you going to do when Corvo arrives? He won't make it past the Weepers and the River Crusts. The city's changed since he was the Royal Protector. If Corvo... Enough about Corvo. You should be preparing for Brigmore. As you wish. This will hold while we're away. Anything short of cannon fire. Let's hope it won't come to that. I found Lizzie Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Coldridge? We can use this. We'll get her out. And Stride will have to pay back the favor. We'll have our transport. Ready to leave, sir? Or should I wait? At your pleasure. After Corvo's escape, it's going to be more difficult to break into Coldridge. They've installed arc pylons, and they're blurring overseer music over the loudspeakers. Our talents will be suppressed until we get inside. I have other talents. They've got Arnold Timshin there. Same wing as Lizzie Stride. The barrister. He'll bring some class to the neighborhood. Last thing. There's an execution planned in the courtyard. Should draw a lot of eyes away from you. They know how to make a man feel welcome. Is it time to go, sir? Delilah doesn't leave Brigmore Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players. Gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler who knows the river. Someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall. Or perhaps myself. That after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail.
Lizzie Stride is in there, but we don't know where they're holding her. They're playing overseer music from the loudspeakers. We couldn't get in. Why the music? One of their prisoners. A spy caught at Dunwall Tower. The guards have sent for overseers to investigate. I'll be back with Lizzie Stride. Stay hidden. Save me. I'm looking for Elizabeth Stride, prisoner, a gang leader out of Draper's ward. Heard her come in. Section D, cell D24. She fought like a wildcat. 
You can check the logbook in the guard station, between sections C and D. I'll just wait for the shift change and make a break. Since Corvo left, all the cells are controlled from one place. You're the first man I've ever seen break into Coldridge. I won't ask your reasons. If you know Lizzie Stride, then you know to be careful around her. That's all I can do for you. It's little enough, I know. Sokolov Radial Interdiction Device, or ARC Pylon, is for use only by personnel treatment. Improper imprinting procedure. Hey, you're sending three men to the firewall squad, and no one knows what actually happened. Did they do it? Hamrick is ready to send the chills of bad day to sleep. Morris lost his nerve in the sewer gates. Neither of them knew anything. They died to satisfy. Officer Thorpe. Thorpe slipped in the key. Everyone knows that. He got weak. They paid him off, but he couldn't tell us who it was. And believe me, he wanted to by the end. You've seen Corvo train, haven't you? Once he had the key, there was no stopping him. And the way he went off that bridge? How do you stop a man who make a jump like that? Like he doesn't care. Or like he's more than human. <coughs> you think he's a... I think we played that over series for a reason. I think there's more happening here than any of us know. Take two, three, before they get their swords out, pick up their pistols. I'm a good shot. How good? I'm better than most of the people here. It's a fact. If I keep moving, I can take the rest one on one. It'll be bloody, but it's doable. You're not thinking. If a fight even starts, you'd be finished. When that alarm goes, your odds are just uh, about zero. Me? I just keep quiet. Slip by when no one's looking. Take as long as it takes. <clears throat> Either way, you'd have Why to be no lucky and a complete here? madman. You'd have to be Corvo, in other words.
the Cold Ridge prison remains under martial law. Guards are authorized to use lethal force against any unidentified or unauthorized persons on the premises. Ugh. Just give me the one chance. I'll never ask anything again. <clears throat> Trembling hands. Blood from the eyes. Any day now it'll start. Observed for signs of infection. What happened? 
Ryan right? Good. Doesn't look like much, does she? Comfortable? All right, we'll get this done. Let's start with how you got into Dunwall Tower in the first place. Was it one of the servants that let you in? Is she strapped in right? Good. Doesn't look like much, does she? Is she strapped in right? Good. Doesn't look like much, does she? Comfortable? All right, we'll get this done. Let's start with how you got into Dunwall Tower in the first place. Was it one of the servants that let you in? One of the guards? Nothing? All right. Corporal, use the hammer. That's right. The smaller one. Huh. Can't really tell if she felt that. Don't want to break anything. Let's try again. How did you... Wait. You hear a kind of ringing in your ears? What's happening to her face? Is she going to... Oh no! Oh no! Shoot her! Shoot her!
tired yet? You're such a chaffer. <coughs> Parents dies. Things would have gone differently. What? You don't think so? Yeah. It's going to start any moment, and I'll die weeping blood.
Just give me the one chance. I'll never ask anything again. A reminder, the Cold Ridge prison remains under martial law. Guards are authorized to use lethal force against any unidentified or unauthorized persons on the premises. you out. You can owe me the favor. What kind of favor? Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. What kind? It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. Then you're out of luck. My boat, the Undine. 
Now it belongs to someone else. My second in command double crossed me and took it. A little shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Get me out of this damn thing and I'll fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll just get my tiara. Down. I think I... Oh. I'll have to carry her out. Section B are under quarantine until further notice. Prisoners who have been transferred from... ...will be observed for signs of infection.
beaten. But not dead. See that her wounds get attention. It will be done. All quiet, sir. Ready to go. Not yet. Keep to your post. Good luck, sir. Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place and the riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Too busy making dresses. Somebody get I'll over here! You. Ah! 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 I'm gonna feed you to 
to the ground. That settles that. Huh? Someone wants to get hurt. Stymied. I thought dragging it up out of the mud was a hard part, but I have no idea how to open it. Hammers? Really? Look at that thing. You think hammers will break it open? Explosives. Sure. The sound brings everyone. Then we gotta share. And what if it costs some meals, huh? There must be a way. Think what could be in there. You know what would be funny? What? Of course it's locked. Look at it. You mean you haven't even tried it. What do you think I am? Stupid?
just let him show his face. See what I do then. got to be done, but Wakefield. Lizzie kept to a deal once she made it. She weren't no... Welcome to the Draper's Ward Salvage and Resale, or the Black Market if you'd prefer. It's Dowd, right? Recognized your face from the posters. Not that I'd ever say anything to anyone, believe me. I'd be happy to have you for a customer. What are you selling? The best of Draper's Ward, all for sale. me by all the others down with the sickness. If you're here to kill me, make it fast or get lost. All these rats crawling all over everything. Understand doing what's got to be done. But Wakefield. Yeah, it's nice. Lizzie kept to a deal once she made it. She weren't no cheat. Exactly. After last night, I don't know who's going to buy from us. Lila, are you with her? No. 
Oh, but you don't have any roses. What can you tell me about Delilah? I used to make clothing for the Caldwins, you see. I adored them, especially young, precocious Emily. She was such a delight. Did you ever meet the Empress? She was so special. And I was able to count her among my friends. I had a lock of hair from young Emily, a keepsake given to me by the family when my hands grew too stiff and clumsy to work the needle. I have treasured it so. And Delilah? She visited me here. Such a surprise to see her, all grown up. So serious. Did you know she was once a playmate of Jessamine's? Before she was Empress, when they were both little. I thought it was a cordial visit at first, but it turned frightening. What happened? She made things come out of the shadows, long and grasping. I can still feel the cold on my neck. I sound mad, don't I? Perhaps I am. She questioned me and left me propped in the corner like a bolt of cloth. I couldn't move for three nights while she made the horrid markings you see now. Then she stole my only keepsake, my lock of hair from dear sweet Emily. Ah, Emily, where are you? Damn that Corvo and damn Delilah. He's not as fun as Lizzie. Lizzie enjoyed it more. Yeah, even Lizzie never drowned victims in a sack. You can still see him squirming for air. Yeah. How's he gonna top that? on board the Undine. He's put all of the eels on alert since Lizzie's rumored to have escaped from Coldridge. He's expecting her. You will undoubtedly be a surprise to him. Thank you. 
Sitting next to the river. Or canal at least. Just wait yeah, until it dies. All those prancing moons, fancy masks. Strip them of their jewels and set them on fire. Finest time in the world. Drowning. Drowning's worse. Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. me, Dowd. Not long ago, I watched you kill an empress and steal her child for coin. For a man like that, you went through Cold Ridge Prison with an awfully soft touch. I wonder, are you hoping it will change the way things work out? Maybe. Maybe not. The song's almost over, and when the music stops, we all fall down.
Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the Dead Eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wakefield set me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But the following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. Quit it. That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. I took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore, not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the Hatter gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The Gazer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. You left Wakefield alive? You can decide what to do with him. My mind is racing. Does he still have both eyes? I'm not saying don't kill the geezer. Just don't be stupid about it. Engine coils are hard to find now. Most of them were scavenged for scrap when the blockade started. <laughs> Who is your second? Billy? Hey, Benny? Shut up! How'd that turn out? Without that engine coil, we're stuck here. Just because he can do strange things, doesn't mean there's an invisible man watching us. I'll ask him how he does it. Are you crazy? Don't you dare. You should get where you're going, little man. Are you supposed to be scary? What are you looking at? Are you supposed to be scary? <coughs> you should get where you're going, little man. Are you supposed to be scary? Come sit on my lap, tough guy. Come sit on my lap, tough guy. Are you supposed to be scary? <clears throat> he 
Are you supposed to be scary? If you're looking for new recruits, no thanks. Montaigne on a boat in Dunwall. A long way from Karnaka. <laughs> 